Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And let's learn about the median and centroid of a triangle. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help to use Minute Math. The median and centroid of a triangle, these kind of go hand in hand. We're first going to find the median, understand what that is, and see how it applies to the centroid. So first, let's go draw a triangle here. 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 And it really doesn't matter any triangle for this purposes. Now, my triangle's freehand, and I'm not Bob Ross, so don't judge me. Let's call this triangle A, B, and C. So we have some reference points there. The median of a triangle connects the vertex to its opposite side's midpoint. So we want to find the midpoint of BC. I'm going to eyeball it here. That should work out. And we have a little A, I'll call this point right here. And now we're going to connect, oh, midpoint. They're congruent, right? B, A, A, C, congruent. Connect now, big A to little a, in the best way I can. And there we have found the median of a triangle. Cool fact here, the area of B, A, little a is the same exact area of A, B, A, big A, little a to C. It cuts it exactly in half, and that's the median of a triangle. Now, hopefully you're thinking and seeing, well, we found one median, can we find two more? That's correct. There are three medians within every triangle. So let's go find that. Halfway between A and C, you want to find the midpoint, it's roughly here, more or less. Call that little B. I want to connect that to big B, so a straight enough line here, hopefully. And notice, again, we have another medium. Same principle applies. This section and this section have the same area. Well, we'll go find one more. Oh, almost forgot. Let's mark it correctly. These are congruent. Lastly, let's go with C, halfway between B and A. Let's call that little C, the midpoint here. Little C, one, two, three, one, two, three. And hopefully I can draw this pretty good freehand. We need to go through here. There we go. And you can see they all intersect at that one point right there. Now, again, like I said, this area here, ACC, is the same thing, Atlantic Coast Conference, as BCC. All right, area's the same. Fun fact, though, every little one of these triangles that you see, all six of them also have the same area. What have we found here? What we have found is a centroid of the triangle. It is where all three medians intersect. And what's the point of the centroid of the triangle? Well, the centroid of the triangle is the exact middle point. It's actually the balancing point as well. If this was a object that you could have hold, you want to find the exact middle that balances the median of the, or the centroid, excuse me, of the triangle, is what you want to find. And that's what we have right here. The exact middle of a triangle. Pretty cool stuff here. Now, if you're like me and you look at this, okay, great, this is a pretty nice, easy triangle. It almost looks isosceles, kind of. But what about other types of triangles? Right triangles, obtuse, acute triangles? How does this look? And luckily, there's software that really makes this easier to see all of them really play out. So I'm going to go hop onto Maple Learn here and really show what this looks like in many different forms. All right, so we're going to go to learn.maplesoft.com dot com and i'll put a link in the description down below and make sure you use that link so they know that we sent you now we've seen this graphical interface great tool that they have there but i'm going to use their examples hit the examples here and let's go see all examples a new tab opens and you'll be able to see actually if you scroll down so many different examples of many different topics that well you can explore and they have some pre-made examples here but we're going to look for the centroid of a triangle going down Boom, select the centroid of a triangle, pre-made example that they have, and we see this lovely graph here. There's explanations on the left-hand side, more about in depth that they have on the centroid of the triangle, but I'm gonna focus on the graph here. Notice we have points A, B, and C to make a triangle. They label D to be the centroid, and we can drag this around. And notice, actually, the values on the left over here change, and it's pretty good explanations and formulas, but let's go look at this. We have, first, we wanna make a uh, a cute triangle, a little small, oh, that's obtuse, 
right there. Let's go cute right there. Boom. What it looks like is very centered. But if I want to go nice and large, let's go obtuse like this, just moving A around. We can see how it flips around, different changes. But notice we said all the areas here of each one of these little triangles are the same. I can even flip C around. And there we go. Move it around however you like. So if you're learning the centroid triangle and see how the point moves, right? Notice here, if I'm bringing A straight in that line, what happens to the centroid, what it looks like. Anyway, this is a great tool really to show what the centroid of the triangle is and how it adapts in real time. If I wanted to draw all these graphs for you on my new my screen there, my light board, I mean, we so many different graphs right here. This tool makes it so easy to understand. So I think I said right triangle. So let's go make let's go make a right triangle here. More or less, put A right here, put B right here, and we can see what a right triangle more or less looks like. A should come in a little bit, but it's fine. Don't need perfection really to see what it looks like. So there you can see the centroid of a triangle using the graphical interface from Maple Learn. Well, I hope you learned something here on the median and centroid of a triangle. If you did, make sure to like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. This helps us make more of these free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching.